you're doing a good job, fellas. Now you're ahead missing. Checks right to the T. And Hoppy being worried about me being boss of the trail herd. Huh, it's as easy as falling off a log. Easy? Well, it'll be about the first time you never let him down. Yeah, and he's the best friend you ever had. Yeah, he's the best friend anybody ever had. Sure glad he gave me this chance. Come on, get out. Hey, where are you going? Well, we got a closer deal for the cows, ain't we? We? I'm boss of this outfit. I'll do the closing. That's getting so there ain't no respect for age no more. Putting a young broom tail like you in charge over me. You should have thought of that before we left, Grandpa. Anyway, who asked you to come? You don't suppose Hoppy let you come out here with that herd without me, do you? I'm staying right here to see you don't get hornswoggled out of no money. Come on, get out of here. Hello. Hello. You're the man who just brought in those cattle, aren't you? Yes, ma'am. Drove them all the way from the bar 20 without losing their head. You mean we drove them all the way without losing their head? My name's Barbara Hamilton. My father's been expecting you, Mr. Cassidy. What do you call him? He's Hopalong Cassidy, isn't he? Him Hopalong Cassidy? Yeah, he's just a young fuzz tail we're trying to break in. Oh, then you're Mr. Cassidy. <laughs> You sure ain't very complimentary, ma'am. Call this old moth-eating glued hoppy. Why, you uh, young bronc, I'll smack Please. it. Howdy, boys. You from Bar 20? Yeah. I'm Tom Hamilton. This is Talbot, my foreman. Howdy. 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 Oh. Well, I'm Lucky Jenkins. This is Windy Holiday. Hoppy's away buying some breeding stock, so he turned the drive over to us. The cattle's in good shape. Would you like to count them now? I'll check your tally in the morning. Wouldn't have time to get much done before dark. That's what I was thinking. Hey, Lucky. We're going in paint the town, Red. Coming along? If you're thinking of the cattle, we're safe enough. Yeah. Do you good to shake the dust off after a long ride. What are you going to do, Wendy? I'm staying right here till the deal's set. You look after the cattle, and I'll look after the boy. You're going to take care of yourself. Anything happens to you, Hoppy, take it out of my life. <laughs> Let's go, fellas. What's the matter with you? You getting the jitters just cause we're out here all alone? I ought to turn you out to pasture 20 years ago. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Oh, go away from me, will you? You yak-headed. I never see anything like you in my life. I don't think you. Now stay put, you ornery jughead. Hey, didn't I tie you up there? Hey, hey, let me loose this. Hey, hey, help, help. Cattle. They couldn't have come out this early. Hey, there's Wendy. What happened, Wendy? Uh, you sure took your sweet time getting back here, didn't well, you? Well, what happened? What happened? Oh, I had 15 or 20 men swooped down on me. I, I stood them off as long as I could, but it was outnumbered. Well, didn't the boys at the Lazy J hear the shooting? Shooting? Well, it wasn't exactly any shots fired. It, it was more of a hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat. We'd better see Mr. Hamilton. Yeah. Well, that's a tough break for you, my boy. Well, what do you mean for me? Those were your cattle. I delivered them to you. I'm sorry, son. I can't assume the responsibility. Well, I hadn't even counted them. They couldn't have made much time driving a herd that size. We'll see if we can't pick up the tracks. Let's get a horse. May I go with you, Dad? Why, well, yes, honey. Come along.
Cows must have melted away judging by this heat. There's no use looking out here anymore. It's more than 40 miles across that desert. Yeah, we've just been fribbling our time away following all them trails. This raid was an inside job, Wendy. I'll bet we'll find the answer right back there at Hamilton's ranch. Well, did you have any luck? Certainly not. We didn't hardly expect to find nothing. How do you mean that? Are you trying to say my father had something to do with the loss of your cattle? Well, not exactly. You better make yourself clear, young man. One thing's sure. No one else knew our cattle was there. Yeah. You was darn anxious to get our outfit off your ranch last night. You've made it plain enough. In the future, you keep off my property. Talbot, ride back to the ranch and tell the men to give up the search. I want every man back at his regular job. You boys head back to the bar 20. And don't tell Hoppy what happened. Why not? Well, I want a chance to square myself before he thinks I'll let him down. I'm sticking here. All right. Come on, boys. So long. So long. Who said you could stay? Well, you see, I promised Hoppy I'd always keep an eye on you. You're harder to get rid of than the seven-year ridge. Maybe. But you ought to know by now you can't do nothing without me. Yeah, well, you sure fixed us this time. Now Hamilton knows we suspect him. When did we up a stump? I ain't. I'm going to do exactly what Hoppy do. I'm going into town, get in with that gang at the gambling house. And if Hamilton's guilty, <laughs> I'll darn soon find it out. Who'd tell you anything? Well, I ain't been seen in town, so I'll make believe I'm a bandit and get in on their secrets. I'd spot you in a minute, Wendy. Say, some of them old-time gunmen were darn good friends of mine. I know all their little tricks. You never told me that before. Yeah, there's a lot of things I ain't told you. <laughs> Wendy and Lucky. Oh, they'll be along after a while. How did you happen to get down from the ranch so quick? I left the home range several days ago. I found out there'd been a lot of trail herds picked off down here the last couple of years and kind of figured you might need some extra help. But if everything's all right, I guess I made the ride for nothing. Just a minute, Happy. There's no use trying to lie to you. You'll find out soon enough anyway. I thought you had something on your mind. All right, let's have it. I'll raise you, Brennan. brothers in the office. I'll fold. First time I ever bluffed him. <laughs> What's the idea of coming here, Dave? Well, I had to risk it. Two of that last outfit's half smart, and they're headed for town right now. Well, that's two more good reasons why you should have stayed at the ranch. I had to get word to you, and there was no one else I could send. Looks like you're getting mighty excited about a couple of loose-headed cowpunchers. Well, don't worry about it. You ain't keep them spotted. Right. And you stay put till you hear from me. All right. You're the boss. But you may find some of these range-bred men ain't so dumb as you think. Well, let me worry about that. Right here. 
I'll ride on ahead and be ready in case you run into trouble. Yeah. And don't forget to pretend you don't know me. That'd be a pleasure. I wish it was on the square. I'd be lucky he was half right at that. About it being an inside job. But he made a bad mistake accusing Hamilton. He's got a reputation for square dealing. Whatever you plan to do, we're ready to back you up. You boys ride on back to bar 20 and tell them not to worry. All right, but we sure hate to miss the fun. Maybe it won't be so funny. Goodbye. What are you doing in town? What business is that of yours? I thought Hamilton gave you orders to keep you busy out on the range. Well, what of it? Since when do I have to answer to every young pup that comes into town? Get out of my way a minute. I want to talk to you. Get out of my way! Ranch. There's a few questions I want to ask you in Hamilton. Get on your horse. Drop that gun. Well, drop it. You fellows are both strangers to me. Excuse me for butting in. If I ain't mistaken, there's some kind of law against shooting a man in the back. Get on your horse and get going. Thanks, mister. you know me. Our cattle have been rustled. I'm going to work myself into that gang. Thanks. And he's riding a Triangle 38 horse. I'll find out who he is and what he's doing here. You trail Talbot and that hot-headed puncher out to Hamilton's ranch. And I'll see that they don't ever reach the Lazy J. I'll do the thinking for this outfit. I want them to get there. All right, boss.
Well, where can I get these things cut off? The blacksmith shop. I don't mean right out in the open. Let's have a look. There you are. Why, you big lemons? What are you trying to do, burn out my insides? What's What'd you put in that drink? Father here? What do you want with him? I want to talk to him. What's the trouble? This foreman of yours tried to dry gulf me. He must have had a pretty good reason. I'm thinking I know what it was. Why, he's still got a notion. It was us rustled his cattle. You'd better go inside, honey. Well, I'm sure I had nothing to do with it. What's the idea of the gunplay? But I was with you when the cattle was raided. Well, that doesn't explain why you tried to shoot him. Well, I ain't letting anybody accuse me of rustling cattle. Ask him to explain how he happened to be in town after you left us. In town? I thought I told you to ride back to the ranch. Why don't you carry out my orders? I'll get it out Hold of Hold on, son. The marshal will take care of this. dealers we can use. Good ones? Can you do that again? Why, wow, that's amazing. Sure wish we could take you on, but I just... Ah, let it go. I'd just soon play against the house. I know we don't want any of that. Tell you what I'll do. I'll give you a whirl and we'll settle percentages later. All right. Well, I'm warning you, I'd deal them on the square. Yeah, sure. I see how you deal them. I mean it. Like to play a little game, Marshal? Never turned one down yet, did I? There's your customer. Frank, you play a little card? I sure do. Come on over here and see. Here's a couple of boys like a game with you. Fine. Hey, Talbot. Heard you had a run in with one of the Bar 20 outfit. Yeah. But I showed him his fight was with Hamilton, not with me. He went on to the ranch alone. Well, that's tough after holding us straight. <laughs> you got my luck. There, old timer, that pop gun's liable to go off and hurt somebody. Why, well, say, I'm the best shot west of the Pecos. Ace Dolan, I'm no as down there. Meaning what? Meaning I can shoot the pip out of the ace of spades at a hundred feet. Like to make a little bet on that? Certainly. Oh, shuck. 
Brooks. I don't want to take your money. All right, all right. I'll tell you what I'll do. If you can do it, I'll set up the drinks for the house. If you can't, the drinks are on you. Come on, boys. Let's go outside and see this. <laughs> Sorry, I can't shoot. I ain't got no bullets. What make is it? Well, it's a Remington, 1876 reissue. Here, these will fit. Well, why don't you put up the card? It's already up. Look at him, stand plumb away. He done it. Well, any of the rest of you like to make a little bet? <laughs> Drinks is on you. Never saw a cleaner shot. Hey, what's that? Up on the ridge. Here. Keep an eye on him. There's been a killing out there. That would happen just when I draw the fat hand. Talbot in for you to question. Talbot? I tied him up with a rustling, but he shot Hamilton and got away. It listens good, but it ain't possible. Talbot come back to town not five minutes after you left. Well, you're crazy. You never left my sight until a couple of minutes ago. You calling me a liar? I've been playing cards with him for the last hour. Where is Talbot? You've got your people mixed. Yeah, yeah. I was playing with him. Yeah. You're all a pack of liars. <laughs> We're all lying, but you. I'm holding you on suspicion of murder until you can prove different. Wait a minute. You're a stranger here, not apt to take sides. What do you say? He was here. I was sitting in a game with him. You thought up the wrong story. Come on.
Well, the law never take me that easy. Hoppy, you're a fine pal. What was the idea? Well, you tripped over your own rope. I only told the plain facts. Yeah, well, then one of us is getting beef-headed. How can a man be two different places at the same time? Well, I kind of figured that way myself. Yeah, well, you get me out of here, and I'll find out what it's about. Uh, we're up against a pretty smooth crowd. Better let them think things are going the way they planned. The marshal's holding an inquest today. If they decide I'm guilty, I'll be looking up a rope. Oh, you're not going to hang. We'll get our cattle back, too. But we gotta move careful. Just sit tight. For a man what's gonna be hung, you got a mighty sunny disposition. Just sit there, miss. The marshal will be along shortly to open the hearing. How about five? Down. You quit looking in my hand. I ain't seen nothing. So funny. Oh, I, I just get no spells. <laughs> All right. Everybody that ain't taking part in the inquest, clear out. Come on. Come on. Get out. What testimony you got to offer? Uh, none, mister. I ride here in town the time they kill him. That don't interest us. Get out. Go on, get out. Let's have the names of the witnesses for the record. What's your handle, mister? Oh, uh, Bill Thompson. Bill Thompson. And then what happened? Well, when I got to the Lazy J, we headed out with Hamilton. He took my side. We headed back to turn Talbot over to you. Strange nobody saw you at the ranch. Barbara was there. Yes. He came to the ranch with Talbot. As marshal and coroner, it ain't my place to say that you're wrong, ma'am. But that don't tally with the bulk of the testimony. We all know what we saw. Besides, I always heard love was blind. Do you think I'd try to help the man who murdered my father? I didn't kill him, Barbara. You gotta help me prove it. We'll let the jury do the deciding. They heard all the witnesses. We figure what most people says is likely true. And recommend holding the prisoner for trial. Well, that's that. Sorry to bust up your play, boys. Hey, hey, take that. You ought to 
force your luck while it's holding, Talbot. How about us finishing our game? Sure. Why not? If you'll let me talk to you for a minute, we can get straight on this thing. Take him out. Your deal, Talbot. I sure want to thank you, boys, for backing me up. We just called it as we saw it. Give me a couple of stacks, Thompson. See which way you headed from here on. Part of you men look down the river. The rest of you come with me. I'll look over here. You circle back toward town, you'll find Lucky at that draw where we turned off. How do you know? Well, never mind that. Hide out in the desert someplace. They'll never think of looking for you there. You expect me to hide out with him? You've got to hide him someplace. He can't come back into town. I know, Hoppy, but I'm blamed near one of the gang now. Pretty soon they'll take me in and I'll find out all their secrets. Sure. You'll liable to find out more than you counted on. Yeah, I can take care of myself. You see that shot I made? Sure. That was a grand shot, old timer. <laughs> but Lucky's forced to play now. We've got to back him up. All right. I'll meet you here as soon as I get Lucky hit out. 
Not a sign of that kid yet. He made a clean getaway. Well, he must have had help. Might have been that old fuzz face who's been trying to prove how tough he is. They're both from the same outfit. Uh, somebody smarter than that old idiot. How about that new dealer you put on? Bill Thompson? He's a good man with the cards, that's all I know. Well, go after him and find out more. Hi, son. Hi, Lucky. Hi, Harvey. Hello, Wendy. How are you making it out here? All oh, swell. It's a little oh. hot, though. So. It's a little warm. That'll fix you up, though. <laughs> Hey, what's the matter with you? Ain't you dry? Now, get down there. Hey, look out there, Wendy. Can't yes. you read? Oh, shucks. I was just going to give him a little smell of it. Don't do that, Hoppy. You been eating loco weed? Well, that ain't no more poison than the water on the bar 20. How can you tell? <laughs> Look at all these animal tracks around here. They've been using this pool regular. You don't see any dead ones laying around here, do you? Oh, I know that water want poison. I got an instinct about them things. Somebody just put that sign up there to keep folks from coming out here. Most of these is cattle tracks. You don't suppose they just wandered out here? I'm beginning to see your point, Hoppy. Yeah, that explains a lot of things. Nobody will see them come or go, and plenty of time for changing brands. There's probably plenty of water holes around here if we just knew where to look. Now we're getting someplace. And say, you come from there spoiling things by breaking out of jail the way you did. Well, I wasn't going to stay in town and let everybody think I was a murderer. Everybody? <laughs> Said young sage hen that's bothering you. <laughs> Anyway, you stayed in there long enough for him to get careless. What'd you find out, Hoppy? I got Talbot into a game. He's not the same man I was playing with the day uh, Hamilton got shot. Not Talbot? Well, can you prove it? Well, maybe not good enough for a court, but I... Well, we gotta have proof, Hoppy. Uh, we'll get it all right. The man that I was playing cards with first has a funny habit of uh, wetting his thumb when he deals. I'll know him if I ever see him playing cards again. Keep your eye on this water hole. Yeah, anybody passes here, we let you know. Yeah, that's my guess. If we follow them, we'll find our cattle, too. What are you aiming to do, Hoppy? Going into town, see if I can find myself a card game. Ah. See you later, fellas. We'll take care of things. Bye, Hoppy. I'll take two. after. I have to have them when I play them. Anybody else want to cut in? Oh, too steep for me. Say there's one born every minute. So I've heard. How many? Play these. I'll take two. Might as well make it interesting. Never called you. My luck was about due to change. 
That's more than luck. You can kind of kill us with your talk, ain't you? I know a card cheat when I see one. You ought to, since you're wearing that brand yourself. Oh. I lost my head. I guess I had this coming. Uh, sometimes losing don't bring out the best side of man. Hey, boys, I got some good liquor. They made a mistake on that last order. Come on, Professor, give us another tune. Find out. He's the third man. There are only three men that can draw that fast. I know two of them, and the other one is Hopalong Cassidy. Cassidy? No wonder he got that gun up so fast. Well, I think we can handle him. I kind of wish we hadn't touched them bar 20 cattle. With that kid on the loose and Cassidy on our tail, things ain't breaking right. We better get out while the going's good. We're staying here till we've combed this section clean. Why, with Hamilton out of the way, that lazy Jay herd's just begging to be taken. It's too risky right now. Cassidy suspects us or he wouldn't be here. Well, there's one sure way to handle him. Let him outsmart himself. Think that'll be easy? Suppose he's got us all spotted? He doesn't know Talbot's working with us. And Talbot's the man to gun him down. Send Cassidy in here. And you ride on out to the Lazy Jane and get word to Talbot. Now, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll bet you three. Say, Thompson. Yeah? Brennan wants to see you. Well, you can't grow spots on him. See me? Oh, yes. Sit down. Oh, thanks. What are you doing in town? I cut you get my table out to speak for itself. Doesn't tell me where you're from. Oh, I've been so many places it's hard to say. Now, you don't have to be careful of me. Have a cigar. Oh, thanks. Where did you get that triangle 38 horse? Why the third degree? They've been telling me you're pretty handy with a gun. I can use a man like you. Well, I'm listening. I know of some cattle I can pick up for, uh, well, practically nothing. I need a top hand. That ain't my line. What I get from cards is enough for me and lots safer. Well, I thought you were too smart to be satisfied with the cut of a tin horn gambler. I guess I had you figured wrong. Since you put it that way, we'll let the cards decide whether I join on. I'll give you an even break. Shuffle and deal. Showdown. Bad luck all day. And your luck will change from now on. Where is this cattle bar one going to take place? The uh, boys are meeting in the early afternoon at Stone Canyon. You'll get your orders there. Right. Take. Better get Martin started right away and bring the men in for the big drive.
You're just wasting elbow grease on that old antique. Yeah. She ain't never failed me yet. She'll shoot right where you point her. What do you shoot in it? Caps? Caps? Young feller, if that ain't a bullet, it'll do the one comes along. Someone's coming. from the Mirage Bar. Yeah, I told you I had them spotted. Shh, listen. This heat must be getting you. What would hop along Cassidy be doing around here? He's foreman of the Bar 20. I'm not so sure if I want to meet up with him or not. You won't have to. Talbot's taking care of him. Once you're all fired, hurry. We got a hard ride ahead of us. The boss wants the men ready at the Lazy J by sundown. I don't know why he always sends us out to blister in this flying pan. Why, they're fixing to raid the Hamilton Ranch. We gotta warn Hoppy. You can catch him in town. I'll head on out to the ranch. Just left. All right. Barbara, we're going to raid your stock. Get all your men on the ring. I'm not fool enough to believe anything you say after what you've done. But you got to believe me. They're coming. You got to be ready. What kind of a trick's this you've cooked up? You better hold him at the marshal. Can't you see? I'm just trying to help you. You ain't going to get away this time. Give up the hunt for that prisoner? I ain't one to ride horses to death looking for a man that's put a couple of stakes behind him. Heal me in, Marshal. Hello, Taylor. Lost you a couple. Looks like he's got something on his mind. I think I know how to handle him. Hey there, old timer. I'm out of drink, partner. Oh, somebody time. Come on, hey. come on, come on. I'm no hard feelings between us. You beat me on the square. Certainly was some shooting. Oh, shucks, I don't know. <laughs> I've done better. Man don't learn to shoot like that hunting rabbits. You know, when he first came here, he was wearing handcuffs. I can tell you was one of us. How about you and me going someplace where we can talk over old times? Oh, no, later on. I, I, I got to I got it. You can be yourself. We won't give you away. I knew it all the time. Come on, come on. Wait a minute. I ain't got no time to visit. that says a man can't give his horse a little exercise. 
This here is Lazy J range, and somebody's been swinging a wide loop on it. Prowling around ain't healthy. That being the case, I'll do my riding someplace else. Maybe that would be better. And to shoot people in the back seems to be a habit of yours. All right, Pierce, come out and behind that rock with your hands up. Drop it. I knew we couldn't get away with this. Shut up. And if you feel like making a break for it, you're welcome to try. It'll save us stretching a good rope. Where are you taking us? We can on giving the marshal a little surprise party. Get moving. a spitting image of you. He sure is. What goes on here? You're looking at the man that gunned down Hamilton. Which one of you is Talbot? This is Talbot. That's his alibi over there. Goes by the name of Brennan. You're under arrest. You're under arrest. You're under... Oh, everybody's under arrest until I get this thing straightened out. They're heading out of town, Hoppy. I know right where they're going, Hoppy. Where? I heard them say they were going to raid the Hamilton Ranch. Come on. Come on, boys. You better get your men together. Now, maybe you'll believe me the next time I say something. Our range is being raided, sure enough. That's what I said. They're heading down the valley, boy. Come on. You can't let him go. He's being held for the marshal. Talbot's being held for that. The marshal's got him. Hurry up, Hoppy. Are you hop along, Cassidy? Yes, I am, miss. I'm so glad you didn't do it, Lucky. Come on, you can pop that over later. Here, take this gun. Never see him again. I'll go after him, mark the trail, you bring the posse. You're taking all the risk, Hoppy. I'll trail him and you bring the posse. No time to argue now. Go on.
They sure give us the slip. Well, if they'd have left as much as a hair, I'd have tracked them down. Brennan cut off and left for the desert. He did? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Many hook prints around here. Lafayette said he'd staked out a trail. Must be a marker around here somewhere. Have a look around, boys. Hey, look up. That's poison. Not to a man of my constitution, it ain't. that fire. Wait. What's that funny looking tree out there? That's not a tree. That's a smoke signal. It's Hoppy. Hoppy? Oh, you think I didn't know that? for you, Brennan.
We got him, boys. Come on, let's rush him. I'm some shot, eh? You never miss, Wendy. <laughs> you darn tootin'. Why well, remember once in there? I think we've heard that one before. All right, boys, let's get them into town. No, I ain't never told you that, Hobby. This was the time we're down in Maricopa. Oh. <laughs> well, Barbara, I guess we'll have to go. Or... I suppose I won't be seeing you again. Well, sure, I'd get away after the spring roundup, and, well, that is, if you'd like me to, I... You know, Hoppy, I got a feeling that gang had me spotted all the time. Well, I can't understand that. You know, you and Lucky are riding the same brand. Well, how come you happen to know you? You know, Wendy, sometimes I wonder about you. There he is. Go get him. Black Bart, I'm arresting you in the name of the law. Oh, shucks. I was just trying to make them rustlers think I was a bad man. Cash deal vouch for me, won't you, Hoppy? Not me. Never saw him before in my life. How about you, Lucky? Me neither. You know, Hoppy, looks to me like we're going to see another bad man brought to justice. Yep. <laughs> Come back here! Get over that hole! Thanks for everything, Hoppy. Goodbye. 